Hey everyone, so a while back I took my GRE exam and I just had about 5 days to prepare for it because the deadlines were approaching and I had procrastinated it. So I'll discuss about the resources that helped me transition from 289 to 314. So before getting into the first resource, you need to understand that the point of GRE is not to test whether you can solve a problem. I mean, of course, that's one of the point, but really it's whether you can solve a problem in the given amount of time. So what really helped me is this channel called Tested Tutor and Greg Matt. So they have really amazing contents. I especially refer to Tested Tutor a lot and uh, because he has pretty much covered all the topics that I could think of. And the way his videos are structured is he teaches this tips or tricks and then he solves three problems which uses those tricks and those problems are an increasing level of difficulty which adopts the same underlying principle. So that really was very helpful for me. So he even takes time tests and posts that on his channel. So that really helps in getting to know how you would approach the problem versus how he would. Okay, so the next step is to really practice uh, a lot of questions to implement those tips and tricks that you just learned. So this is where the Manhattan 5 pound book comes in. So this has pretty much all the topics and it has around 30 to 50 questions per topic. So that gives you a really wide range of uh, problems to practice with. And even that those problems are an increasing level of difficulties. One suggestion I would give you is uh, really practice all these problems while timing yourself because even though you probably can solve all those problems, it's very important to make sure that you solve it under a minute or maximum two minutes. Okay, so for the next topic, let's get to vocabs. So you'll really need to learn a lot of words if you want to get about 310. I especially had to learn a lot of new words within very less time because I had just had five days. So that's where this excellent resource for, fell into my hand. So these are flashcards and uh, you can get this anywhere. You can actually buy this uh, off of Amazon. I think Manhattan or Princeton Review has this, but, but really you can just make it yourself. So I knew that flashcards were effective, but what really helped me was mnemonics. So I had tried learning through flashcards before. Magush has uh, an app for that. So you can reference it if you want, but I really didn't find it helpful because it still didn't, although it helped me know the meanings of it, it still didn't help me retain it. So that's where uh, mnemonics came into picture. So mnemonics is nothing but uh, an idea or a group of letters, a bunch of words, if you will, that helps you associate or remember something. So these flashcards, which I got from one of my friends, Syed, he had already written this mnemonics for me. So I'll give an example. So there's this word called abscond and the mnemonic for this is absent in a second so we'll get to know that it's to run away or to disappear so let's go through another example so the, the next word is articulate the mnemonic for this is anti cumulate so q is a hindi word which means uh, why so anti cumulate so now the auntie has to explain why she's late very clearly and uh, the meaning for articulate is clear or effective in expressing so I know that this sounds very stupid, but that's what works. I mean, that that's what helps you remember or associate that with the actual word. And I got to know about mnemonics, the whole game of flashcards took a real change. So I was learning about 60 words per day. So you'll definitely have to revise it. I was revising it twice or thrice a day and uh, that helped me retain 60 words per day. If you don't want to sit around and come up with uh, mnemonics for yourself, you can use this app called Mnemonic Dictionary, which has a lot of words and a lot of mnemonics for the same. That will save up a lot of your time. The next topic is free practice tests. So I took about four practice tests, four practice time tests. Uh, that's what you will have to take if you want to gauge how quickly you can solve the problem or how it will actually be in the exam day. So the ones I took from are two from ETS. So that's the official GRE practice tests. So you'll get two free practice tests when you sign up for GRE and one from Manhattan Prep and the other from Kaplan. I also found a blog link which discusses about eight different free practice tests. So you can definitely take a look at it and all these links are in the description down below. All right, so those were the resources that helped me transition from 289 to 314. So maybe if you have more than five days unlike me, then you can definitely hit 320 plus with the same resources. So the bonus tip that I would like to mention is actually being in the zone. So that means keep practicing and solving problems quickly two to three days prior to the actual exam. So if you are in the zone of solving problems pretty quickly and taking time tests, timed practice tests, the exam day won't be much of a hassle for you. And I think the huge part of the improvement in my score was being in the zone. Hopefully that helps you too. 
Right, so I hope this was helpful to you. And if I missed anything or if you know of any other resources that would help others, please uh, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.